So how does Apple Watch eject water? How does it actually work? Some people say it's just a gimmick, some people love it, and I think it really works. You can access it in the control center on your Apple Watch by swiping up on the watch face, or you can get there from any app just by holding on the lower portion of the display and swiping up. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more tips like these. And there is this little water drop. There are actually two ways of using it. The first one is the water lock, the second is the water eject. Let's start with the water lock. That means that you know you're about to go swimming, you know it in advance or know that you'll be around water. You make sure to prepare your device for exposure into the water, pretty much. For this, just click on the water drop that you can see in the control center and there will be the blue water drop on the top of the screen all the time. That's nice and its purpose is to prevent the water getting inside the device. And if you start a swimming workout or something similar like surfing or whatever, then this feature is going to be enabled automatically, which means that you don't really need to worry about anything. But sometimes you just forget about it, and this can happen because of more and various reasons, like you may get unexpectedly thrown in the water or something. In that case, just go ahead and use the second option or the second way, and that is the water eject. It's the same toggle you clicked before, but now you do it after exposing the watch to the water. So you technically just turn it on and turn it back off immediately. And you do it by rotating the digital crown all the way to the top until you hear the series and the whole bunch of stuff which is going to be going on. And you just do that, the, the water is going to be like ejected from all of the speakers. And like I said, a series of tones will be played in order to get the water out. This is also what happens when you want to turn off the water lock. It's the same feature, but used differently based on your circumstances. And I think it really does work well, because you can literally see the water getting out, and it just really makes sense that the sound is going to be played and it's, the water is going to be ejected from the speakers. Okay, by the way, I want to interrupt the video really quickly here, just to let you know that I upload similar content all the time, and if you are interested, just subscribe, don't be shy, and let's move on. Okay, what happens if you neglect it? That means that you expose your Apple Watch to the water, however it happens, and you didn't turn on or enable the water lock, nor did you actually eject the water. So what's really going to happen with your device in that case? Well, it just pretty much depends on your situation. What I can say now is that I wouldn't recommend you using the Apple Watch in the shower because the soap could gradually wear down the waterproofing. Apple themselves don't like when you do it or when customers actually use their Apple Watches in the shower. Like, also you should wash your wrist from time to time, I guess. Like, do you really need to know your heartbeat in a shower? Like, I don't really see a point of doing that. So I would just avoid it, personally. But, for example, you go for a swim and forget to get water out. Oh, that depends on, again, on the circumstances and your actual situation. If you have been swimming in uh, the water, in the sea, like, I mean in salty water, it gets a little complicated because there's salt that gets inside the watch, inside the actual speakers, and once the water evaporates, the salt still stays there, apparently, and that can harm your device in the long run. So make sure to eject it, but you can also just put it, put the watch under regular water after using it in salty water while it's been submerged anyways. So there's really no need to worry about it. And you put the Apple Watch under regular water in order to make stuff mix inside pretty much and to get the salty water out if that makes any sense. Like it's, it's just common sense, but if you forget about everything, at least you can do that. So just you, you don't leave the salty stuff inside of the Apple Watch. And the same thing goes for all of the bathing stuff that you put in your bath. Like you don't really need to use it when you're taking a bath because it's kind of dangerous for the Apple Watch. Like I said, a whole bunch of shampoos and foamy stuff could get inside. I mean, not really something that I would recommend for you and for your Apple Watch. And that's, again, common sense, but there are people 
that just use the Apple Watch constantly and charge it in the night or whatever. So make sure to prevent anything that could actually damage your Apple Watch. And lastly, pay attention to the series of uh, your Apple Watch. This is something that you probably are aware of, but the first Apple Watch, the Series 1 or the Series 0, don't really have a lot of waterproofing going on, so there isn't really a chance that you you should be safe when you go underwater, even though there were some tests that it's like quote-unquote waterproof unofficially, but it's not anything official, like I said, so I wouldn't risk it personally. And those older Apple Watches, or if you run some older version of the Watch OS, you won't even find that water eject feature, so it's gonna be even more complicated. So make sure to at least take a look at your series, like if it's series 3, 4, 5, I mean, you shouldn't really have a problem, even in series 2, I believe. So there is that. And one more thing, if you also use your iPhone underwater, I made a video just about that. And that means that you can also create a shortcut, which will do the same thing that the Apple Watch does, because there is no native shortcut for that pre-installed on the iPhone. You have to create it your on your own. So you can very easily do that if you follow my tutorial. So take a look at it if you want. Take a look at my other content if you are interested and subscribe for more videos like these. By the way, you can also support this one with your thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out, guys.